One cafe on the cobbled streets of York is bringing Japanese cuisine and culture to the plates of tourists, locals and vegans. The 11-month-old tea shop offers up-to-date Japanese dishes that often cater for people with a range of food intolerances. I think um, people that have been to Japan get um, a great amount of nostalgia by coming here because it's um, just like something in Japan right now. Um, but I think also it gives them a little bit of a, an immersive experience. I would always say everyone has an experience coming in here because um, you do get a different side of Japan than the stereotypical side. You get, you get a lot of people coming in not knowing what to expect and then talking to my absolutely amazing staff who are so lovely um, and they just want to help everybody and get somebody um, the exact thing that they would like and we get people that are just completely blown away by um, the new tastes and, and experience they found. One dedicated customer fell so in love with the calf that the owner decided to offer her the chance to join the team. Um, so essentially I found this place when I was doing my master's degree and I wanted somewhere that was kind of cool and quiet that I could do my work and then it turned out obviously it's a Japanese cafe and I spoke Japanese and everyone was so nice that I was like okay this is now my second home like I live here now um, and essentially what happened was I just came here every day and had like tea, coffee and cake and food basically and got to know everyone really well like everyone was so nice to me they always remembered who I was and um, which is obviously as a return customer it was really nice and then uh, after Christmas uh, I was chatting to Fran and Fran was like oh well you obviously love it here and you've been here for like months now do you maybe want to work here and I was like oh my god I would die like I would be so happy if I could work in this place because everyone is so nice and I could practice Japanese and a lot of the customers are Japanese and um, everyone's just really lovely all the time so it, was, it sounded like a really nice place to work and um, so it offers something different and um, like obviously there's a lot of independence in York there's already a lot of cafes and bars but no one's really doing what Fran and Tatsu are doing so it's a mix of Japanese and British uh, like fusion almost um, and you've got Tatsu's kind of knowledge about the teas uh, and Fran's love of uh, everything Japanese so uh, basically you get to try things that are completely new. So there's this kind of traditional Japanese food that's on there, so like the tamagodong, which is a very kind of traditional Japanese lunch menu item. But then stuff like the smoked mackerel, they don't really eat smoked mackerel in Japan, so you get a bit of both, you get a bit of British food and Japanese food. So it kind of a, caters to everybody. While drawing in customers with the promise of experiencing a different culture, they also get an influx of vegans, as at least half the menu caters to their specific dietary requirements, much of which is also gluten-free. Quite possibly, but I would say a lot of the people that come in here eat the vegan food without a thought anyway, um, just because Japan used to be um, quite a vegan country, and especially the Buddhist monks. Um, were vegan and they only ate fish and they didn't have any meat for only over a hundred years ago they started eating meat so um, it's all quite very simple and a lot of Japanese food is quite um, vegan there's a lot of fish but we just take that element out and we use seaweed instead because it's just as tasty and I like catering for everybody um, but yeah we do get a lot of people coming in that are vegan but then we get a lot of people coming in because they want to try something new. As the tea house nears its first birthday the impact it's having on the city continues to grow and this little two-story spot on Blake Street is fast becoming a home away from home for many. Charlie Wainwright, That's TV.